Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial series about EMG CV using Visual Studio 2015. For these tutorials, I assume that you have already installed Visual Studio 2015. If you haven't installed it yet, you can go to Visual Studios community or search in Google and go to visualstudios.com and download the free edition of Visual Studio 2015. Another library that is uh, required for this tutorial is EMGU CV. Uh, you have to go to emgu.com and click on SourceForge and SourceForge.net to download the library. So the latest version available at the moment is 3.1.0. I clicked on that and it will start downloading. Since before the start of this tutorial, I already downloaded it. So let me check into the folder. Go to downloads. Here you can see library MGUC Win Desktop 3.1.0. Just double click on that. Click next. Next. It is the default location. It will uh, install it next. And you have to click next. Next. Since I have already uh, installed it, so I'm not going to repeat that again. Since the location I ch uh, choose to install is C EMG UCV, this is the version. These are the previous ones which I did before. So you can see this is the library now available for use. So let me go straight into Visual Studios and create a new uh, application. <coughs> make sure you have selected visual c sharp and click on windows forms app and give it a name emgu cv ap1 for example and click on ok so here is a windows forms application what i want to do is first to make sure that you configure your application to use emgu cv the first step we need to do is to add reference to EMGU CV DLLs. To do that, right click on Add References, Add Reference, browse to the location where you installed your EMGU CV. This is the location. Go to the bin and select the EMGU CV world. Let me actually add for this is the debugger also for uh, Visual Studio 2015. Z graph at the moment I don't need all of them but this one is the most important I need it and maybe I need it in future let me add into my application and I click in yes first step is done the next step that I need to include is to add the DLLs which actually wrap the open CV files so to do that right click on your project go to add existing items go to the same folder EMGU CV go to that bin and inside bin if your operating system is 64 bit go to x64 if your operating system is 32 bit go to x86 my operating system is x64 so I will go to this folder and click on all files so that you can see all these four DLLs, add them into your project. I need these projects to be in the output folder whenever I execute application. To do that, select all of these by clicking the control button and clicking individually, uh, pressing the control button and clicking individually all files and go to copy to output directory and just click on copy always so whenever i build my application these will be copied into the output folder the third and a very important step also that you need to make sure is since i'm using a 64-bit operating system i need to change the build into 64-bit operating system to do that right click on my project go to properties go to build and change the platform target to x 64 if it is 86 there is no problem no need to do anything so our project is ready to use EMGU CV so let me create uh, and use those EMG CV functions the first thing that I want to do is let the user select a file an image 
and uh, read it using EMG UCV and display it in a picture box. So let me design this in such a way. Let me put a menu strip here. Just name it file and open item and an exit item open is just to open uh, an image and exit is to close this application put a control uh, panel control into this uh, form and uh, uh, and make it Part of scroll to be true so that I want to see the scroll and one more thing that I want to do is to dock it to in all four directions so that if user changes the size of the form it will readjust itself and then put a picture box on top of the uh, panel and one important thing property that I want to set is the size mode I want to auto size it whenever uh, large or small file is selected so that it will readjust itself and also dock it so that we have uh, to dock this picture box to the panel for the exit let me write this dot close it means close this current form and for open I need some uh, namespaces to be included emgucv namespace and also emgucv and cv itself using emgucv or cv and structures which have defined some basic structures and then now I want to let the user select a file so I'll be using open file dialog but before that I always try to write the code inside um, a try cage block so that it will not uh, crush my application crash my application rather I should say so I will create an open file dialog and uh, then if user clicks on I will show the dialog to the user and if the uh, user clicks on OK then I am going to create a local image file with the color is BGR blue green red and the depth is byte and let me name it uh, IMG input new img input here i have different options we can create an image from bitmap we can use the data three-dimensional data or we can mention just the size of the image but right now since the user is selecting an image so let me provide the uh, file path that user has selected so file name and once it is selected it will read the file uh, that user selects into IMG output and I want to just display that one into the picture box image property so that uh, input dot bitmap it reads a bitmap image so that's why I uh, read the bitmap property of the IMG um, uh, input so that's it let me build my application by pressing ctrl shift and a b since it is successful so let me start it and check if it works fine so let me click on open you need to browse to any file that you want to open into your application here is a test image I click on that open it and here you go so this is the image that has been read using EMGU CV and that's it so let me click on the exit to close the application I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next tutorial